Hi Aries! Welcome to your February reading. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus Aries. And here's how it's going to go. We're going to look in general. What kind of challenges are you going to face? What does it look like overall? The vibes you're putting out there in the month of February. And then give you like an area of focus or like a goal to achieve in the month of February. Um, then we're going to look specifically at areas of work, career, and finance. Your love life, whether you're single or coupled. I'm going to look at your personal growth and development, and then I'm going to give you a crystal of the month. Those of you who don't follow me on social media might not know this, but I'm like obsessed with crystals. I think that they help us um, use our own natural ability and healing power uh, in order to live our best life. And that's the whole point of me doing these tarot readings, to help you get on the right track. So, let's just get started. <laughs> What does it look like for you overall in the month of February? You know what? I got the wrong deck here. Hold on a second. And for um, those of you who give a shit about the deck I'm using, I'm going to be using the Ciro Marchetti um, Gilded Tarot, and then I'm using a deck called Wisdom for Healing. So, okay, what does your February look like overall? Oh, um, deep bonds and connections. So. For some of you, this could mean meeting your soulmate. This could be a new business partner, which is for the majority of you. Um, this could be like really good connections in regards to your long-term career or like your finances. But for others of you, um, this is the interesting thing. So for Aries, this is going to be a little bit challenging to do the reading for an entire astrological group of people. Um, if you're going to have to take what resonates with you. I would maybe recommend a personal reading with me or with somebody else that you trust because here's the deal. Um, so both of these cards can go two different ways. Sometimes this is read as soulmate connections, okay? And sometimes this is read as like marriage, like long-term relationships, the kind of person that you grow old with and you retire with, you look back on your life and you're like, wow, what a wonderful life we lived, right? But then... Um, in other regards, this could be like business partnerships or really connecting and understanding your clients and then therefore making a shit ton more money. Either way, it's a very positive omen for the theme of the month of February, um, but maybe as the reading progresses, this will become more clear, you know, what side of um, these cards you're on. Some of you might have this showing up in your love life, whereas others of you might have this showing up in your finances. So anyway, that's kind of the overall theme for February. So really good news either way. What kind of challenges will you be facing in the month of February? Well, you'll be feeling like, you know what, um, things aren't fair. But the thing is, is that they are, okay? So this is going to be a month where you really start to see your karma popping up. Now, it, I don't know if any of you have seen the Capricorn or the Cancer Moon video that I did like in the beginning of this month where it was talking about everything leading up to February, everything leading up to January 31st. So um, if you're watching this in advance of February, this might make some sense to you is like going to cause karma to really show up. Like you might not have believed in it before, but it's like all of a sudden you see things happening around you. And you know, if you have good karma, if you've done a good job, you were like kind to people, things like that, you're going to start seeing blessings coming into your life. But if you were a total shithead, you're going to start being punished for that. Although it feels like those of you who are watching this reading aren't shitheads because we already have the knowledge that February looks really good for us. So what it's saying is, you know, things might not have seemed fair leading up until now, but we're going to start to see as February progresses after this full moon, blue moon, um, lunar eclipse event on January 31st, that all of a sudden 
um, things are changing and they're shifting and we are getting our karmic rewards if they're positive, but we're also getting the um, negative side of the coin if we haven't been, you know, really great people. So that's interesting. What kind of vibes are you putting out in general in the month of February? Um, maybe that you're not completely done with certain things, um, certain things that are not necessarily good for you. So this could be toxic relationships. Um, this could be, you know, a drug problem. This could be a drinking problem. Um, this could be, you know, something as simple as overeating, but negative things in our life that cause us stagnation and frustration, we maybe need to make an effort to kind of let that go. So let's look at your overall goal and see what kind of advice we get in regards to that. And it's saying taking steps to get healthy. Yeah. So for some of us, you know, that could just be like a negative habit of um, not doing yoga or whatever, like things that you plan to do. It doesn't have to be something like super, super horrible. But for some of you, it definitely is something super horrible where, you know, you're addicted to um, negative people or um, like abusive relationships or drugs, alcohol, that kind of a thing. And it's like, you're getting a specific reward from it, even though it's ruining totally um, all these different kind of areas of your life. And so it's like, you just have to let go of that. So taking the steps to get healthy is because of this green color going to require you to really focus on your heart chakra to open that up. And so it's saying, um, you know, today, when you see this video, whatever day it is that you happen to come across it, you come across it for a reason. So just in this one day, um, by the end of the day, commit to a new step that you're going to follow through for a month. Just one thing that you're going to um, to do in order to stop self-sabotaging because that's what that devil card energy is all about, okay? So um, maybe it's like I self-sabotage personally. I'm not, I don't have any areas in my chart, but this is maybe a good example for you. I constantly self-sabotaging, but... I'm constantly doing that by not drinking enough water, okay? I wake up dehydrated. I've got a migraine for like three or four hours before I take like a shit ton of Excedrin to um, feel more me in order to start my work day. And so it could be something like that. Like, okay, you know what? From here on out, I'm going to every day make a point of drinking more water. It could be something simple like that. But it could also be like just picking up the phone and making um, a call to your therapist or a call to the doctor to get like a nicotine patch. Like this is going to resonate differently for everybody, but um, your health is going to come into focus in the month of February. And the reason being is that within your body, whatever this is, you know, whether, whether it's a toxic relationship, the stress of that wears your body down. It makes you feel sore. It makes you feel tired. It might give you irritable bowel syndrome. That's called psychosomatization. If it's um, drugs, you know, like, okay, well, you might have some of those same effects. Your sleeping might be erratic. You might be forgetful. You might not be getting your work done because you're out partying. You know, you're going to know where this resonates in your life, but this is going to be a very important theme for you in the month of February, especially when we have all this energy of um, from coming out of this Cancer moon into the Leo moon of like the trajectory of our entire year. It's kind of set leading up to February and then February things start getting real, especially with that karmic energy. So this would be very, very important for you. So anyway, moving on from that and getting down to the more specifics of career work and finance, what do we have for you in general for what it looks like overall in the month of February? And it says, follow your gut instincts. Mentally, you know what you have to do and you're starting to do that, but you're a little bit more focused on um, what you mentally know as opposed to what your heart is telling you, as opposed to what your intuition is telling you. Now you're making steps in the right direction as far as your career, finance, um, work life are going, okay? Um, and your communication is on point. So that's all working for you, but you would be better served to kind of follow your gut instincts a little bit more in the month of February, but so far on the right track. What kind of challenges will you be facing in the month of February in regards to that area? And um, I'm getting the Wheel of Fortune in the challenge position saying that, you know, circumstances outside of our control are going to work in our favor, but we might not be able to see that. So this could play out a couple different ways. 
either something really lucky is going to happen to you that creates almost a sort of fear or anxiety for you with all of this orange and red in the card. Like, oh my gosh, you know, all of a sudden I have this really amazing influx of new clients to my business or something like that, or all of these new sales coming in and my sales job, whatever it is, or a new promotion. And now it's just too much work. I don't know how I'm going to handle it. It could be that kind of an energy for you in the month of February. And so we have to remember to be <laughs> expressing gratitude and be thankful that we do have all of this luck coming in. What an awesome reading. You know, Pisces also had a really great reading for the month of February and so did Virgo. So it's kind of cool that we have an, uh, an air sign. We have a water sign and then we have a fire sign too. So wait, air, earth, fire. Yeah. Neat. No, we don't have an air sign. That's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for an air sign. I was like, wait, that's fucked up. No, we have a water sign. So hopefully the air signs will get one too. Hopefully, hopefully. then we've got like our bases covered. It's a great month for everybody then. Okay. Now, um, what kind of vibes are you putting out that you know what you're doing? So good. Um, really embrace that. And I think it's going to show through with your communication. Like I said, this is an excellent communication month for you, Aries. Your overall goal or area of focus in regards to your work, career, and finances. Let's see what we get. Reflecting on pride and ego. So letting go of that fear, like we were talking about with that Wheel of Fortune card as the challenge position. You really have to um, kind of take an internal measure and reflect on that. Like, what are our fears here? Okay, why is it that I'm afraid of this awesome blessing and this success that's coming in? Try to clear that out of your aura field, okay? So maybe doing like a sacral chakra meditation would be helpful. Um, you have to recognize that that kind of fear is really poisoning your spirit and your ability to really embrace and attract even more of these blessings into your life in the month of February. So reflect on matters of your own pride and of your own ego and kind of release those. So, you know, I mean, I guess that's kind of saying that you do have the capacity in the month of February where you know what you're talking about. You're being a really excellent communicator and um, things are moving ahead and you're getting all these blessings for it to not kind of become an arrogant douche about it, you know? Like if somebody asks a question, don't belittle them or be condescending and make them feel like an idiot for asking. Uh, and I'm not saying that that's like something that you would typically do, but that is just an area of caution for you because it's possible that you'd come out, you'd come off that way in the month of February because you really are on fire. Okay, so... In regards to your love life, Aries singles, what does February look like for you? And, um, well, your love life is easy. You don't have to put a lot of work in. Um, it's like people are just drawn to you. They're excited to get to know you. They're excited to get to meet you. Now, if you are a coupled Aries, what does it look like? You and your partner maybe just have different ideas on what it is that you want. And so it's like, you're really clear on that and maybe your partner isn't. So that could become a problem for you in the month of February. Looking at challenges for singles, it says um, you're a little bit challenged to really connect with spirit and kind of get a good feeling as to whether or not somebody is worth your time. You might just be like going with the flow, um, appreciating that other people are admiring you and that it's easy for you to meet people in the month of February, but not necessarily having that like inner feeling of, wow, like this is a good person for me. It's just kind of like, nah, you know, I'm, I'm glad that people love me, but nah. <laughs> um, for those of you who are coupled, the challenges that you'll face are um, knowing whether based on the fact that you and your partner probably don't want the same thing is like, is it time to leave or not? You know, or um, is it, and not necessarily leaving your relationship for, a lot of you, it will be. I'd say a solid 40% of you, it will be about, do I just leave this relationship? Because ultimately, where is it heading? You know, I want something casual, they want a marriage, or vice versa, and we just don't see eye to eye. So, like, what's the point? Um, but for others of you, it's more about 
taking what you know about your communications with your partner, how you both um, communicate with each other, and moving on to like a better and different way of communicating. This might require some relationship counseling. This might just require some self-reflection. And again, going back to that ego and pride thing and kind of identifying like what are the specific issues and how do we shift those and change them. Because our communication is really an important thing for us, Aries, in the month of February. And the way that you're communicating um, has to come, like, in your relationship, if you're a coupled Aries, it has to be more peaceful. Does that make sense? No. Um, what kind of vibes are you putting out, single Aries? Well, that you've been hurt in the past and you're not necessarily ready for change in new relationships. And maybe that's part of the reason why that disconnection from spirit and really like feeling these deep connections with people isn't happening because you're still attached to somebody from your past or an idea that you have about how relationships should go and that has to be released. So if you haven't seen the Chords of Attachment video, that might be something that helps you if you're having a hard time releasing them. Um, that's in the description box below, but you can cut your own cords of attachment however you want. Uh, just a suggestion. A lot of people find it helpful. For those of you who are coupled, how are other people viewing you? What kind of vibes are you putting out? Well, that it's time to make big changes in regards to like the day-to-day -day routine. Okay, um, I want to move. I want to take a new job. Like I'm really focused on the details of my day-to-day -day life and what I expect from that. And so it's kind of like, take it or leave it, right? That's where you're at with your partnership. Either they're on your team, they're on your side, and you're going to do these things together or fuck it because these are the things I'm going to do. Now, um, what is your overall uh, goal or area of focus for single Aries? Again, reflecting on that ego and pride, just like we talked about. <laughs> Surprise! There are no such thing as coincidence, just saying. Okay, and for those of you who are coupled, um, being open to spiritual guidance and really, again, that energy of opening up your heart chakra and saying, okay, you know, I've waited for a while to see if my partner is going to come around, see if we're going to be on that same page or not in regards to the day-to-day -day life. And I say that because of the green with the pentacles, it, that's very much about, you know, money, home, stability, the day-to-day -day routines, the things that you want to see on a daily basis, including, you know, our partnerships. Like, are they going to be there um, for the long term? And so when we started with our general February reading saying, you know what, maybe this is about business and maybe it's about love. I feel for those of you who are coupled already, this is probably more about business kind of things. Like you're trying to create a long-term plan. You're trying to ensure your success and you definitely can ensure that. But if your partner's not on board, it's like, ugh. So you've got to be open to spirit to get the messages about your relationship in regards to how that's going to fit in with your life. What it's saying is, you know, um, you're, you want guidance from spirit because you want to feel like you have this safety net, this security. Okay. And it's fucking scary when you love somebody and you don't feel like you can have that moving forward. Right. And so it's this tough decision of what do I do next? And so if you could just open up to what spirit, however you do that, whether that's, you know, through running or yoga or prayer, you know, asking your spirit guides, angels, God, Allah, whatever the universe if you could just be open to receiving your messages as to the next steps, that would be helpful. And one thing that you can do too, because Spirit's never going to tell you necessarily what to do because you have free will. You get to decide. They can give you information that will help you to make the decision. But ultimately, you've been granted free will, right? And so has your partner. <laughs> so what this is saying is if you can, um, you can ask them for support. You can ask them to release your fear and your insecurity as you make these decisions moving forward. Now, looking at your personal growth and development, what do we have for the month of February for Aries? So in general, it looks like um, major successes there. So you're making a lot of 
success in like every area of your life because look, you're passionate about what you're doing. You're moving forward. You're seeing results. Other people are applauding you. You've got this purple cloak around you saying that those of you who have connected to spirit as a reward for that connection in whatever way that you do that, um, like every effort that you make will be rewarded. Now you've got yellow here, your own personal power, a little bit less of the green heart chakra color coming out in this card. Um, because it's less like your heart's super in it and more just you have a drive, but that's normal for a fire sign. Um, what it's saying here with the orange, though, is that you do have some fear, and some of that fear was healthy because it helped you to make really positive and more assured decisions, but now you're going in the right direction, and so maybe it's time to release that because that flag is behind him, okay? Sorry about that. I think you can still see me, but I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so personal growth and development, awesome. You're, you're making good strides, whether that's, you know, reflecting on your own ego like it asks you to, whether that's opening up your heart, or in a very tangible sense, which it looks like a lot of areas will experience in this month. Um, challenges that you will be facing in regards to your own spiritual growth and personal development, there's two of them. Again, moving on from things from the past. Things that you loved a lot, okay? Things that you loved and they were good for a while, but it's like, now I need to go out and find something um, that's even better. You know, when we have the eight of cups here, it's like eight cups is a lot. Eight out of 10 is a lot of anything, right? It's a passing grade, it's a B, it's pretty darn good but you've got to go out in search of the 10 and you need to let your intuition and your gut instincts, you have to let spirit kind of guide you. You have to find this passion, you know, the, the feather in your cap to go out and do that. And that's a challenge for you. So like I said, cutting cords of attachment is going to be really, really important for a lot of you. Um, a lot of you, you feel maybe like it's a challenge to get organized. It's a challenge to do a lot of these things on your own without assistance, but this is a very Aries um, centric mission. Okay, this is very much about you and proving to yourself that you can do a lot of these things on your own. And I know that you believe that you can, but at times you get frustrated like, oh, if only I had an assistant at work or if only I had a partner, you know, to vent to when I got home from work or somebody to cook me dinner, or, you know, whatever. Um, somebody to help me out with the kids or whatever that is. Um, those are the challenges that we're really facing in the month of February and um, our fears related to those need to be released. So what kind of vibes are you putting out? And um, some people might see you as dishonest, even though your communication is really good in regards to your community, um, in regards to your personal development. Like it's that they might not, I don't know how to describe this. It's not that they see you as not having good character, but they don't necessarily see you as honest. Like whatever it is that you say about yourself, they might not believe it. Does that make sense? They might believe that what you're saying is too good to be true if you're trying to sell them something. Um, and you'll still see positive financial results. But there's something there. Um, there's something about you that makes people feel like you're lying to them, especially in regards to your personal development. So perhaps, Let's say you're one of these people who are working on releasing an addiction and you talk to your family members and they're like, hey, how are you doing emotionally and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, everything's great. And they're like, bullshit, bullshit. We know this is a struggle, you know, that kind of a thing. And it's not to say that you're lying, but people get that vibe from you. So how can you change it? And they say, um, there's really not that much you can do. Sorry about it. Hmm. They say, you know, maybe the one thing you could do is just to not, um, is to be more real in your communication, not to be like um, peppy and upbeat and excited about things. Yeah, my life is great. You're like, things are okay, would be better. <laughs> you know, how are you? Um, how's your life? Things are good. You know, just like that, as opposed to things are amazing, because they're like bullshit. Um, although things will be amazing for you in your financial sector, okay. Well, let's look at your personal goal in regards to spiritual development. 
releasing the need to complain. Okay, um, so what it's saying here is any kind of negativity that we're holding on to, again, we got to let go of it. We got to release it. It's that fear again, because all we're doing when we are complaining is kind of drawing in more of the things we're complaining about. What you think about, what you speak about is what you bring about per the law of attraction. Yeah. So focus more on the positive side of things so that we can bring more of those positive things into our life. We already have positive things coming into our life, right? Um, so let's focus on gratitude for those things so we can make this February really, really, really amazing for us. So your crystal of the month is actually amethyst, which makes sense to me because it said right in the reading a few times, like, hey, we got to worry about reconnecting back to spirit. That might not be our strong suit in the month of February. And so um, amethyst is universally known for trying to help you or, or for connecting you from your third eye, opening that up, you know, to the spirit realm. So um, you could just go to your local crystal store. Um, you could order it online from anyone. I have both of these online on my website if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, so I'll just tell you about each of these. You could use either formation. For some of the signs, um, for Libra, for example, it's very specific that they need the scepter type um, formation. For you, it's less specific. It's just an amethyst in general. So you could go pick up whatever you wanted. Um, this specific stone is good for drawing in a soulmate, okay, because of the formation right here. This is called the soulmate formation where there's two points in one. So it's like two energies from um, divinely guided to each other to go in the same direction. So if you are one of those who's feeling distant from your partner, but you feel like it's the right person to be with and you're just not on the same path, this would be um, better for you than perhaps a cluster. Now the cluster formation is kind of fun because um, what it does is instead of amplifying something in one specific direction, if you try to make a grid or whatever, um, is that it kind of magnifies it and sends it out in multiple directions. So anyway, you can read more about these on the website, whether you decide to get these or get your own, there is some information there for you. And then there is like a, um, I don't think that all of the crystal videos I've made for Patreon are in, are yet released to um, the public playlist, but I do think there's like one or two how to use crystal videos in um, the terribly accurate playlist. So I think it's just called crystals. <laughs> so if you wanted to know how to use crystals that you already have, maybe that's a good starting point. So that's your February love and light. And I will see you uh, in a week or two for your February love specific readings. Ciao.